is half started. T minus 21 seconds, and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1, and liftoff. Liftoff of the 25th Space Shuttle mission, and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttle uh, for most of the flight, 104%. Throttle down to uh, 65% shortly. Engines at 65%. Three engines uh, running normally. Three good fuel cells. Three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. So the 25th Space Shuttle mission is now on the way after more delays than NASA cares to count. This morning it looked as though they were not going to be able to get off. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity 2,900 feet per second. Altitude 9 nautical miles. Downrange distance 7 nautical miles. like a couple of the uh, solid rocket boosters uh, blew away from the side of the shuttle in an explosion. Flight controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. Edward and Grace Corrigan. They were about three and a half miles away from the area of the launch pad in the VIP launch area. Families of the astronauts normally in the grandstands. Tom, as John Zarella pointed out from the Cape earlier, when um, all of us first saw the blast, uh, there was a moment of, of stunned silence and disbelief. Uh, many people perhaps did confuse it with the, um, is it the booster rockets? The solid rocket booster separation, which but it was really, a little later. It was, it was far too early. early and far too big an explosion. And it took a while, I'm sure, for it to sink in in the minds of, of the parents and the school children. There you see Mr. and Mrs. Corrigan still standing saying a silent prayer as a Christian McCullough's parents. It's Edward and Grace Corrigan. Mrs. Corrigan had said in an earlier interview with CNN that she would be thrilled to be the one to be up there herself, that she once took flying lessons just because she liked the adventure of it. They'd always encouraged their daughter to be adventurous and to go for it, in her words. 
Tom, the area that we were just watching, the bleachers where people were watching and photographing the launch, who was allowed in there? That is the VIP section, invited guests for this launch. I myself received an invitation from Michael Smith, who was the pilot on this flight, to sit in these same bleachers and to watch his launch. Michael Smith has been a guest here on CNN before on our launch coverage and sent me a special invitation to go. That would then include family members of the astronauts, friends? It, it includes family members. I understand there was a delegation of, from China of 100 people, school children from New Hampshire. Challenger's pilot, as Tom just said, was Mike Smith, 40 years old. He was a commander in the U.S. Navy. He's from Beaufort, North Carolina, a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy. He served in Vietnam, is married, and has three children. And we have.